I'm a fan side, but usually I don't, usually I don't like, um, really like getting a celebrities like that unless it's something interesting. But I want to say, I, yeah, I'm a band cyber. I, I'm sorry that you had to realize the hard way that by leaving your show and doing it private, I get it. But you got to understand, people need to realize in the black community, especially in the outside black community, but in the black community, we got to stop looking for messiahs and look for the answer in ourselves. Now, it's not for all ask for help, but it's start with us to stop putting each other on a pedestal. Stop putting standards on each other. Stop... You know, stop making it weird. And then, and then I hate to say this. It wasn't the start of your generation of baby boomers. It was the start of the great style generation and people before. Because a lot of y'all want to sit there and say, it would, a lot, a lot of people want to look at ageism. But nobody want to look at ageism on young people. Oh, you're too young to be qualified. Then when you get older, people make it like, oh, you look that age. They assume you're this age and you're not. Like, I'm in my 30s. I never look my age. But I'm even discriminating. But that's not a story. It's not about me. I am a band Zaba. You did the best you could do. You're a human too. You're not a messiah. You're a human. And it's still. And as adults. We all got to make personal responsibilities. And I'm not saying this to come at you. Like I said. You've done some things that's been interesting. I thank you for giving males. I thank you for letting black men know. With, with society being hard on them. I thank you for giving them a fair hand. Because like I said. You've seen that the feminists. And other societies had undermined a lot of black males. That it's okay for black females to say this and say that. Now, black males, you're still not off the hook of the shit y'all have done. But I get it. As a black community, we've been verbal abuse. We've been told, shut up. We've been encouraged to be scared and not say nothing. And this is why a lot of us commit suicide. A lot of us are doing drugs. A lot of us are doing stuff. Because we are told, shut up. Just sh how big are you? Do you got money? And then and then you're, weak, you're a weak man for asking for help. See? And I'm not, and, I, and like I said, I'm angry at the dynamic in our black community. Even like me, the emotional abuse I deal with. Oh, you stupid. Shut up. Take it. Suck it up. It ain't about you. And then we, see, it's like if you say something, you, you, if you say something, see, you're angry. Then you don't say nothing. You're weak. You're easy to take advantage of. And in our community, it's built on hypocrisy. But I just want to say, Ayan Bensop, you did the best you could do. And I'm sorry it turned out emotionally ugly for you, but I hate to break it to you, but we're doomed. You look at a lot of, um, like the video I just made, you look at how a lot of, uh, you look at half a century ago, it wasn't that long ago, you couldn't live someplace, you couldn't vote. These young people, that's 30 and under, some of y'all, especially y'all 25, y'all that pick on our people, y'all don't realize the jig is up. All the opportunities that you didn't get before, y'all not being grateful to, y'all picking and praying on other people. Oh, I don't care. I could do what I want. I could take advantage. And to y'all that spoil these adult people that's going to act entitled, y'all need to pay for how y'all spoil your kids and grandkids. But yeah. No. We, what is wrong with us? We live in a society where it's okay to pray on somebody that don't bother nobody or don't look like they bother people. This is why shit's happened to us black people. We all wake up and face that. Yes, white people, they got big hands, but us, we have fucked each other. We have. All right, Ayama Ben Sapa. Um, but yeah, you did the best you could do. Don't beat down on yourself, okay? Because I have a lot of anger in my community myself. But look how I got here. 